find tan 1290 to find this we should follow this method c here we have 1290 now you should check 1290 lies between which two multiples of 180 what i mean is 1290 lies between 1260 and 1440 this is 180 into 7 and this is 180 into 8 between these two numbers 1290 lies next 1290 is close to which number this is close to 1260 so in place of this now we should write 1260 plus 30 so this will become tan in place of this we write this 1260 plus 30 this is your step 1 next tan in place of this now we should write 7 into 180 plus 30 next here we have 180 so tan is not going to change it will remain tan and inside we get this angle 30 now the question is will we get here plus or minus to answer that we should look at the number before 180 that is 7 and 7 is odd and all the odd multiples of 180 they lie in either in the second or in the third quadrant so now to select the quadrant we should look at this symbol here we have plus that means angle lies in the third quadrant and in the third quadrant tan is positive so we should put plus so plus tan 30 is 1 by root 3 this is our answer